Hey, it's Andrew here doing another Keyforge deck review. This time I'm going to do Shoal of Strathshire Haven, which uh, is a deck that I opened and just played, or I actually didn't open it, my, my wife did, opened it and played it uh, without reading the deck list in a 2v2 game we played with Mark and uh, his wife, who is also my wife's little sister. Um, while we were down in San Diego. So she played it well. We, we actually ended up uh, winning that match. It was pretty close, but had a, had a fun time. We had some Mars synergy going on. Uh, yeah, and so this one is Sanctum Mars Logos, and let's get right into it. Oh, and this is one of the ones that was uh, from, from Mark's box from Team Covenant, actually. All right. So, uh, Binate Rupture, that, that was interesting in 2v2, um, she actually got it archived real early and I don't think there ever really came up an opportunity to use it, but, um, that, it was, it was interesting, even just like playing around that possibility in 2v2. Uh, Igor, a two power creature that when you play it, you look at the top three cards of your deck add one to your hand and discard the others. That's a fantastic just card filtering mechanism. Uh, two copies of Library of Babel, which is an artifact that exhausts to draw a card. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Especially if you have two. If you have two out, there's a good chance you're gonna hit something playable on that turn and that, that can be pretty good. Uh, two copies actually of Titan Mechanic, who's six power and when, when it's on a flank, uh, everybody's keys cost one less. It's kind of a... Uh, these, by the way, Library Babel and the Titan Mechanics are all returning from Call of the Archons. Binate Rupture and Igor are AOA cards. Uh, ZYX Researcher. Two power human scientist. And when you play him, you archive the top card of your deck or the top card of your discard pile. So if you have something super value in there, you can... Uh, recur it for later. Otherwise, just get that archive off the top of your deck, which is pretty great. Bouncing Death Quark. Uh, when you play it, you destroy an enemy creature and a friendly creature, and you can repeat that as many times as you want, as long as it's still possible to do both things, right? So as long as you still have, as long as you and your opponent still each have one creature, you can keep uh, bouncing stuff, which is a pretty cool card, pretty cool effect. Director of ZYX is a three-power cyborg scientist with elusive, and at the start of your turn, you archive the top card of your deck. That is a really cool effect. I I love it. Um, I've I have one other deck where I got to play this card, and uh, just leads to some really fun situations. And that even happens before you choose your house, so you can factor that card into deciding which house you'll choose. And also, once you've chosen your house, you can return archives to your hand at that point. So it's definitely accessible to you. Memory Chip is an artifact that says after you choose Logos as your active house, you archive a card. So uh, if you have both of these out, that means, at the, let's say, at the start of your turn, you're, you're going to archive the top card of your deck with Director ZYX. Um, and then... then if you choose Logos, you're going to get to archive. This one's from your hand, um, but that that's pretty cool. Uh, now, there's, I guess, a little potential little bit of anti-synergy there in that if, you, if Director puts in a Logos card that you want, then uh, with Memory Chip, you're, you're going to have to archive a card from your hand, and then if you, but if you want that Logos card you archived off the top of your deck, you're going to have to return the Logos card or the, whatever you archived with memory chip to your hand to. But, I mean, if you get something that's not Logos, and then you archive something that's not Logos, great synergy. So it just depends on the order of things. Rocket Boots is an upgrade that gives a creature Fight Reap. Uh, if it's the first time the creature was used this turn, ready it. Um, so, unfortunately, that doesn't trigger, you know, if a creature starts stunned, um, you're just going to unstun it and it's going to sit there, but um, on fighting or reaping, it re-readies. Uh, in Logos, there's not, we don't have any great targets for this yet. We'll have to look at some other houses for potential places to use that well. Then we have the Curator, 
who's three power and says that friendly artifacts interplay ready, which would uh, you know mean your library babbles. Uh, if, if she's already on the table, then those library babbles come right out ready and can immediately draw you a card, which is pretty cool. All right, on to Mars, we have uh, the Collector Worm, two power, five armor, and when it fights, it archives the thing it fought. Uh, can be powerful. Uh, Exixly Fix Finger, two power, two armor, with Elusive, and each other Martian creature gets plus one armor. Martian, not Mars. Mars first has a bonus amber and has you ready and use a friendly Mars creature. Um, it's interesting, this replacing Squawker and Soft Landing because uh, it's ready and use, so it doesn't... Like, Squawker could ready the creature, and then if you had something that cared about ready creatures, you could fire it. This doesn't give you a window to do that. It's just ready and use um, without an opportunity to do something else in the middle. Just interesting. Mars needs Amber, uh, has a bonus Amber, and then... Uh, each damaged enemy non-Mars creature captures one amber from their own side. That can be pretty pow powerful. There's two of them in here, and I can't believe it's a common. It's just so crazy. <laughs> the Zyma Think Drone, three power, and when it reaps, you can archive a friendly creature or artifact from play. There's two of them. That's, that can be pretty cool. Um, so far, good archive targets for that would be like the ZYX Researcher. The Igor. Um, I think that's it so far that I would really want to because they have nice play effects. Uh, Xanthax Harvester, three power. Uh, when it reaps, it gains an extra one, but you can't use it if it's uh, if it has a non-Mars neighbor. And then we have Zizek Shockworm, which is three power. It's it, it's a Martian. Uh, so are the Think Drones, by the way. But it's a Martian uh, and three power, one armor, and after an enemy creature reaps, you stun it. So good reap control there. Then we have Amber Conduction Unit. This one is an artifact that uh, just has a constant effect. After an enemy creature reaps, if it's the first time a creature has reaped this turn, stun it. So just a lot of reap stun there. Brainstem Antenna. This creature gains after you play a Mars creature, ready this creature, and for the remainder of the turn, it belongs to House Mars. Um, yeah, this is a, a good way to you know, slap it on a creature, get to use it a couple times on a Mars turn. Pretty cool. It's good for Mars creatures, it's good for non-Mars creatures, it's good for anything, really. Um, but like the, like the Rocket Boots, it's really nice if you have strong fight or reap effects, and we just haven't seen, other than maybe the the Harvester, you know, we, we haven't seen a lot of really powerful reap effects that we want to do over and over again yet. Invasion Portal is sort of like Sound the Horns for Mars. It's an artifact that exhausts to discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a Mars creature or run out of cards. And if you discard a Mars creature this way, you put it in your hand. All right, next we have Bordan the Redeemed. We're into Sanctum now. This is a, uh, oh, and by the way, the Invasion Portal, you know, if you have the Curator out, then it's going to come in ready and fire right away. So that's kind of a cool interaction there. Bordan, three power, elusive. He's a thief in Sanctum, which is interesting, uh, but he, do he doesn't really steal it. He just captures, so he can exhaust to capture two, and uh, that can be quite a powerful effect on the right circumstances. Hallowed Shield is an artifact that if you have Curator out, it'll interplay ready and get to be used right away. It can exhaust to choose a creature, and for the remainder of the turn, the chosen creature cannot be dealt damage. Nice way to fight without getting hurt back. And there's two of them in there. So decent potential to be able to use them. Two copies of Healing Blast in here. Bonus Amber, and then uh, you fully heal a creature, and if you healed four or more damage this way, you gain two Amber. Um, so far, we have two cards, the Titan Mechanics, that could potentially have four damage to be that could be healed. So I don't think it's very likely we get that effect, although we'll see what else we get out of Sanctum here. Protect the Weak, Bonus Amber Upgrade, that uh, gives a creature Taunt and plus one armor. 
nice for protecting some of the small ones that you want to stay out. Take Hostages gives you a bonus amber and for the remainder of the turn each time a friendly creature fights it captures one amber. That's kind of cool with the shields because you can uh, you know, get to use your creatures to, to fight and not take damage. Gray Rider, two power with deploy and on play, fight, or reap you may ready and fight with a neighboring creature. Now this, I have to tell you, this is one I would love to get the rocket boots on. I mean, that would just be amazing. It also wouldn't be a terrible target for Think Drone to kind of protect it in between uses, um, especially because it has deploy and its effect triggers on play as well as fight and reap. Um, and I wouldn't mind having the brainstem in hand on this either. I mean, I just want to use this as often as I possibly can. And of course my opponent wants to kill it as quickly as they possibly can. Luckily there are two of them, which is pretty cool. So there's a chance, you know, you have a chance. Radiant Truth has a bonus amber and then stuns each enemy creature that's not on a flank. Lord Golgotha. I, th this is really funny. I Like, my open rate on Lord Golgotha has been crazy in AOA. And uh, I'm trying to think if that's just been in decks that that were from Mark's pack. But I know it, it includes ones that came from mine. Yeah, m I've gotten a lot of Lord Golgotha. This is interesting. Five power, two armor, spirit knight. Before it fights, you deal three damage to each neighbor of the creature it's fighting. And then we have Seraphic Armor, which uh, is an upgrade that gives you a bonus amber and gives a creature plus one armor. And also on play, it, it fully heals the creature. Um, that's like four upgrades in here. That's interesting. And uh, five artifacts that can potentially benefit from, from the curator, if you can keep the curator out. Um, some creatures that are decent targets for Think Drone. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of strong, interesting possibilities here. Um, again, we're still looking at, with Lord Golgotha in the mix, we have three creatures that could potentially benefit from the Healing Blast, so that's probably just a bonus Amber and Heal. We're not going to get the extra two Amber, probably, but yeah, it could happen. All right, uh, so that is Shell of Straithshire Haven. I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll keep forging.